In 1836, Queen Maria II of Portugal married a German prince named Ferdinand. Ferdinand needed to win over his new subjects, so he built Penna Palace as a love letter to the history of his adopted country. From above, the pieces of Ferdinand's gesture become clear. Neo-Gothic and Neo-Manueline towers echo the castles of great Portuguese kings past, while Neo-Islamic domes reflect centuries of Moorish occupation. The walls are covered with Neo-Indian and maritime motifs from the Age of Discovery, when Portuguese explorers sailed the first sea route from Europe to Asia. Pena was Ferdinand's way of proving he'd done his homework on Portuguese history and was ready to take his seat as a leader of its people. This is above all a decision. The decision by a young king who arrives at a new country and who decides to get involved with this country, its issues, its history, its cultural DNA. Ferdinand's grand statement showing his love of this country paid off. The Portuguese took him to their heart. And the royal family loved it too. They used it as a summer residence for over 60 years. Even us who work here every day, every day, if we stop and look around, we get surprised by all this magic. 